We're going to jump on with our guest now. Um, let's bring on Cleveland Spears. I think we have a video we're going to show. It's Norman's first. Okay. All right. We can always switch. Let's go to Norman because I want to talk about Parish Gallery anyway right now. Hi, Denise. Norman, are you there? How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, my pleasure. And glad to have Roy Lewis with us, of course. Who, who, Norm, I have to say this. Lu Roy introduced me to your dad. Oh. Uh, he used to talk about um, uh, Parish Gallery a lot. And I remember one of the stories that he did early on was at the gallery. And he encouraged me to come and visit. And that's how I met your father. And so I want to thank you. Roy, for being here with us. Um, for those who don't know, let's talk about the Wall of Respect. I really wanted to talk about the gallery first, but we can talk about the Wall of Respect because uh, that's how the script goes. So Roy, what is your relationship uh, with the former gallery? With Norman Parrish or the Wall? Well, that's, Both. I'm just as confused as you are right now, Roy. So let's talk about Norman Parrish, because that's why- I'm Norman Parrish is somebody that I knew even before 67. The Wall of Respect was a, a project of an organization of Black American culture uh, that was created in 1967 to deal with art projects, writers, musicians. And our first project uh, recommended by Bill Walker was the Wall of Respect. And Norman was one of those artists and he did a section. His section was called Politics. When was this one? 1967 in Chicago. Okay. And the location was on 43rd and Langley. And uh, once it was agreed, we we decided to, to do it. Then we had 13. Norm, how many artists were there? Um, there were more than a dozen. There were, there were, there were quite About a 13, 14, something like that. It fluctuated. But that was our project, and Norm did, I think it was politics, the political. The wall was divided in about six or seven sections. You had sports, you had politics, theater, drama. Norm did politics, and um, and so, but I knew Norman even before, because he was an artist exhibit in Chicago. And when he moved here, he contacted me, and I sort of stepped in. I knew a lot of artists, a lot of photographers in town, and I began to introduce them to him, and they to go by, check him out and support him. And I was one of the early exhibitors with my exhibit. My first exhibit, I think, was River Road. And then there were other exhibits and group shots, group exhibits. And so he expanded his base to a lot of artists and did catalogs. You know, he just upped the whole thing in without participating in gallery and commercial sales and all of that. And I'm so happy that Norm has picked up the mantle and moving this to the next level, which is the documentary. And I'm sure Norm's gonna talk about the fact that his collection went to the Smithsonian. So it, it was one of those, but it was Chicago thing all the way. Yeah, yeah. And then the gallery located in Georgetown. Norm, talk about you know your dad and, and establishing the gallery, how he transitioned or, or, or moved, uh, relocated, I'll put it that way, to Washington, DC. Uh, I guess you were tagging along with him at the time. So talk about that. Well, so he he, trans he, he moved to um, the Washington D.C. area in, a, in, a, in the late uh, '80s, and um, he was fascinated by the beautiful landscape you have in, in the Maryland area, the, the mountains and everything. And so he did a lot of landscapes back then. And he said, "Okay, he did these great landscapes." As, as Roy said, he was you know he was an artist displaying works in Chicago, and you know he, he came to D.C. basically to do drafting type of work, and so. Um, but he couldn't find any new place to display his his, his works in the, in, the, in the DC area, and so you know he thought about it and said, "Why don't you try you know have your own gallery?" And so he, which is what he did, he opened up a, a gallery in 1991 in on Canal Square in in Georgetown in Washington DC. And so um, his his purpose of the gallery was basically to uh, display work from the uh, um, not exclusively, but from the African diaspora. And so he, he did that. He had over 170 artists. It was, it was open from 1991, again, as I mentioned, to, ninth, to uh, 2013. Um, he started off, as um, uh, Roy mentioned, with the uh, Chicago-based artists, a lot of artists that he knew from Chicago area throughout these years. And then he expanded that to DC artists, and then he moved there into um, artists around the country, and basically artists around the world. And um, 
you know, he's, you know somebody he, get, he had emerging uh, um, artists when those were just starting, and then he moved into you know some of the bigger name artists as well. So there's a documentary, uh, and and actually, folks that want to see it will have the opportunity to do so next week. Give us some details about that, Norm. And so. Um, Mr. Lewis is, is, is highlighted in the um, documentary. Uh, we you know, appreciate all his, his help and um, I've talked to him about other projects as well. So I really appreciate his um, support throughout the years, especially since my dad is that we've communicated a lot since uh, 2013. And uh, so basically the, the documentary talks about, um, it's called Walls of Respect, Norman Parish and, a Par and Norman Parish, uh, rather the Parish Art Gallery. And basically it, it traces his, his time that, why he started the gallery, the importance of the gallery in DC, the, the support that the DC community gave to the gallery. And um, it also discussed the wall of respect, you mentioned that. And then also it, it goes, goes into his childhood. And we have um, artists in there, we have uh, curators, and we have a lot of his family members as well. That's amazing, that's amazing. And where, where will this uh, take place? It's going to take place uh, actually, and we thought a good place to start it off would be in, in Georgetown, since it's, that's where his gallery was located for uh, more than two decades. And it'll be at the City Tavern Club, but that's at 3206 M Street Northwest in Washington, D.C. Uh, I'm assuming, Roy, well, I was going to say, I'm assuming I was going to bring you in, Roy, uh, that a lot of the artists, I mean, we're still blessed to have Roy Lewis in our midst. Um, your dad passed, uh, was it 2013, you said? Yeah, until mm -hmm. 2013. Right. Uh, and so, you know, Roy, what, what is it going to be like uh, on that day to really um, communicate or to get together with some folks in the arts, in the arts community in D.C. Uh, in memory of Norm Paris? Well, you know, it's, it's a celebration uh, because the film, from what, talking to Norman and Susan about the film and being in it. Um, it's a celebration, not only of, of Norman and the gallery, but the artists that he featured and the impact that he had on the art world. Because one of the reasons for the Wall of Respect was that it was, we weren't being represented in the galleries in Chicago. We weren't being in the museum. And so we said, let's take the, the art to the community. So he, after going through that experience, he knew that as long as he had the community behind him, that that he would make it. But he still kept, you know, dealing with the Smithsonian and other galleries, making sure post articles to Washington. That's why our, our connection with the gallery is so important, because, you know, he would just be a gallery over there. But if you're not getting publicity, if you're not announcing your shows, if you're not getting reviews, then, you know, the community will, you know, you just be over there in Georgetown. And so it's gonna be kind of heartwarming. It's gonna be one, getting together with some people you ain't seen in a lot of years, not just the two years, but a lot of years. And I know that there are supporters, the people, the Friday evenings that those openings were, because you had the courtyard and you had other galleries right next to and around that courtyard, it was a very festive. It was almost like being in, a, in an African village or something because we, a lot of the stuff, the openings were outside, you had food outside. And so it was a very festive Friday evening. Most of the go openings were Friday evenings. And so yeah, seeing a yeah. lot of those people is going to be real, real, real heartwarming. But celebrating Norm and his wife, who was very key to his, the success of Norman and his gallery. I mean, in terms of her support, working there hard out, you know, it was, it was a team effort. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I, Norman, you wanted to add something? Oh, no, no. The one thing I, I haven't mentioned is that the film is going to be previewed on Monday and Tuesday. It's upcoming Monday and Tuesday at the uh, City Tavern Club. It's one of the people know. It's and it's right. And it's, the PM. time is 6, six 7 to 7 p.m. Yeah. Exactly. And and there's there's no cost, I understand, right? No. There, there's a, there's a ten, we're asking for a $10 cost right now. So. Oh, geez. Well, that's for almost the, no the cost screening. these day and time. <laughs> <laughs> for the screening, yeah, for the screening. Right, exactly, yeah. It's, no, that's, it's a that's fundraiser, happened. it's a fundraiser. Yeah, yeah, well, that's a minimum, and I'm sure, you know, folks uh, be encouraged to, to give what their heart says that they can give to support uh, the film and the work of, of those who put this film together. So 
Um, thank you so much for being with us. I hate that we have to cut this short, but we have a short amount of time here. Mm -hmm. But I want to thank you all. Norman, I will see you uh, on probably Monday night and uh, look forward to um, just enjoying the film. And we hope that those who are listening and watching will be there as well. Just one more time, give us that address. It's uh, 3206. M Street, Northwest. 3206 M Street, Northwest at 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, well, there's, a, there's, a, there's a little, um, on the first night, there's a um, like a VIP uh, reception as a plan for Monday nights at 6, but really it starts at 7. So 7 okay. p.m. both nights, yeah. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Thanks. Uh, My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.